He is a rising star and an extremely versatile player. Eduardo Camavinga is the future of the Real Madrid midfield and also fits in at the left back position but his lifestyle has shocked the entire footballing world. So, let's dive into his crazy lifestyle, luxurious properties, and money habits. Eduardo Selmi Camavinga was born on the 10th of November 2002 in a refugee camp in Mikanje, an exclave of Angola located in the province of Cabinda. His parents, Celestino and Sofia, are both Congolese nationals from Brazzaville who relocated to France to escape the war in Angola. He was only two years old at the time, he is one of the five children of his parents and shares a striking resemblance with his mother, who is a dedicated homemaker. Upon arriving in France, the family settled in Lille for a little while before moving to Fougeres, which is about 40 kilometers from Rennes. It was at Fougeres that young Kamavinga practiced judo for some time before switching permanently to football, thanks to his mother who nurtured him in the sport. After she sought for a solution to the numerous items he shattered in the course of his martial art involvement. Life was pretty smooth for the close-knit family as Kamavinga made strides in football until tragedy struck in 2013 when the family's home was completely razed down in an unfortunate fire incident. This massive setback sparked a determination in Kamavinga to lift his family out of the mess. His father, who used to work at a pig slaughterhouse, had taken him out of school to survey the remains of their burnt home, telling him that he was the only hope of the family. Fortune eventually smiled on the young Kamavinga, and here's how his career has played out so far. At age 7, Kamavinga's mother enrolled him at a local club, Drapeau de Fougeres, where he took his maiden steps in honing the skills that have characterized his style of play today. His technical prowess and tough tackling style earned him the admiration of both teammates and opponents. By the time he was 11, he took part in Ren's academy trials and excelled with flying colors. He stayed with Ren's youth system until December 2018 when he signed his first professional contract shortly after he turned 16. This made him the youngest person to ever play for Ren at that time. Kamavinga went on to smash many other records there, scoring twice in 88 appearances. Kamavinga left Ren and joined Real Madrid in August 2021 for a fee of 34 million pounds and signed a contract which would run until June 2027. In just two seasons with the club, the Frenchman has won half a dozen trophies, including the La Liga, Copa del Rey, and the UEFA Champions League. On the international scene, Kamavinga obtained his French citizenship on the 5th of November 2019 and went on to represent France at the under-21 level six days afterward. In August 2020, he was called up to play for France's senior team, making him the youngest player since René Girard in 1932. His goal against Ukraine in October 2020 made him the youngest goal scorer for France since Maurice Gas Tiger in 1914. Kamavinga was an integral part of the French national team that came up just short of Argentina at the 2022 FIFA World Cup held in Qatar. Hold up a second, ain't we supposed to be talking about his lifestyle? Oh yes, everyone is eager to know who Kamavinga's girlfriend is at the moment, but it appears that this guy only has eyes for football and isn't bothered about his single status. But given his well-built and athletic frame, it is safe to say that Kamavinga isn't short of admirers. A relationship may not just be his priority for now, but we'll be sure to let you know when something changes for the 20-year-old. Coming from a humble background and notwithstanding his swift rise to stardom, 20-year-old Kamavinga holds his family in high esteem as they've been a strong support system for him, helping to keep him focused on his goals. The Real Madrid prodigy isn't given to a lavish lifestyle, rather he is quite conservative, with barely any excesses to curb, and enjoys sharing happy moments with family and friends. When he isn't sweating it out at the gym, Kamavinga is big on gaming, especially with his brothers. He also listens to music a lot like many other folks. Kamavinga enjoys cooking for leisure. His favorite food is an African dish, Madezu rice, which is rice with white beans, chicken, and orange sauce. He's not a fan of cakes and waffles, by the way. Alright, moving on to his properties. We were not making things up when we said the soccer star is of humble beginnings. A player who earns 160,000 euros weekly and over 8 million euros annually should own a couple of cars, houses, and cool toys, right? Guess what? Kamavinga still lives with his parents in Madrid and we're yet to see him flaunt any car. He goes for training sessions on his team's bus, a conservative person indeed. However, as part of Real Madrid's sponsorship deal, first team players were given free BMW cars after Audi, the club's former sponsor since 2003, failed to agree to a deal. So we know that Kamavinga has a BMW iXS or i4S at least. How about tattoos? Has our guy inked his body yet? The answer is no. Kamavinga doesn't have any tattoos for now, but that could very well change in the future. The Frenchman is worth $22 million, 
which comes mainly from his annual salary, contracts, paid partnerships, and much more. For a 20-year-old, it doesn't get any better. Kamavinga has endorsements with Nike, Balenciaga, and many other mega brands. With over 7 million followers on Instagram alone, Kamavinga also makes a few bucks from sponsored posts on social media. Kamavinga is a big supporter of the United Nations High Commissioner of Refugees, the UNHCR, and began supporting the refugee agency in the summer of 2021 when he featured in a video which covered his journey from fleeing the war in Angola to settling in France. In his words, as a former refugee, I've seen how football can change your life. That's why I support the UNHCR, who work to make sport accessible for people forced to flee. In March 2022, a video of Kamavinga's inspiring story was broadcast on the Stade de Genève screens in Switzerland during a football game, encouraging people to donate to UNHCR. And when the Russian-Ukraine war began, the Frenchman asked his fans to support those who were forced to flee Ukraine. It is often refreshing to see the charitable side of footballers, such as Kamavinga, who try to place their own part in making our world a better place. But like all famous people all over the world, Eduardo Camavinga has had his own share of criticisms. For example, his wrongly timed tackle which dented the World Cup hopes of his teammate Christopher Nkunku sparked the anger of critics and made him a target of abuse. France was in a final training session ahead of the tournament at their Clairefontaine base when Camavinga launched that needless challenge on the RB Leipzig star. Following a video of the incident, an outraged fan called the 20-year-old starlet a salsange, which reads dirty monkey when translated from French to English. On another occasion, Sergio Aguero was derided for insulting the Frenchman after Argentina's triumph over France in the 2022 World Cup final game. The former Manchester City striker later hit back at his critics and insisted his comment on the French midfielder was simply a joke. Thankfully, Kamavinga is apt at tackling criticisms and rising above controversies. But did you know that Kamavinga earned the moniker Tackle Venga among his teammates because of his exceptional tackling prowess? For him, tackling is instinctive, especially sliding tackles, and he even prefers it to interceptions. He seems to be doing a good job in reducing the number of fouls that he commits in the process. What do you reckon? The Frenchman idolizes Cristiano Ronaldo, Paul Pogba, Karim Benzema, and Steven Nzonzi. Once, after swapping jerseys with Ronaldo in a UEFA Nations League game in 2020, he posted a photo of Ronaldo's jersey on his social media page with the caption, Je l'ai lavé pas, which means I won't wash it. With his whole career in front of him, Tackle Venga still has plenty of time to excel in his best position on the field, whether it is central midfield, defensive midfield, or a left back position. Having made almost a century of appearances for Real Madrid, Kamavinga looks to be the promise of the future, and although Real Madrid might have had a disappointing season, by their standards, there is still plenty to look forward to with Eduardo Kamavinga on the team. So, what are your thoughts?